if the horse lives, give it hay. So I think that's uh, also uh, important in the, the scenario of the post offices that they are. It is important that we do sustain them. And Marar Ochunda we all get us here in the hay and chicken tun talk. I talk a bunch of the bubble too here. I guess Kehar Richter is a town if you can first a law in the bubble chain. The post office network is a key natural resource and it's a key rural resource. Uh, so I don't think we should be measuring the success of the post office network primarily on financial. Uh, uh, on, on, on financial measurability, the socio-economic impact of a post office must also be taken into account, and I do take uh, a certain amount of umbrage with one of the suggestions from uh, Senator Quinn that we look at the privatisation of the post office services. I hope we don't, Minister, because I think if we do go down that route, uh, it will serve a death knell, particularly to rural services and rural postal services. Uh, I think it's import important that the post office is network is seen as more than, than a commercial entity, uh, because it, it serves an important social role in communities across the country. Uh, there are problems obviously in the network with the falling revenues, branch closures and a high dependence on the single contract with the Department of Social Protection. Based on an analysis of the staff and systems, the network has the capability of easily facilitating additional services and I think we would all like to see that happening. Uh, the turnover currently is derived from the three main sources outlined, traditional mail service, government contracts and financial services. Uh, and The banking accounts for 3% of revenue, social welfare 29%, NTMA saving contracts 27% and traditional posts 16%. This means that taking together social welfare and NTMA contract, contracts account for 56% of total revenue, so it's quite obvious that we do need to diversify uh, if possible. Uh, so there is a high dependence on state-related contracts for survival, uh, therefore the state's role in maintaining the, so, uh, the, the uh, postal services and the network is, is very important. But in terms of strength, the network is Ireland's largest retail network with over 1,100 post offices in the country. It has a very strong brand, it's a household name with positive customer perception, it has a large customer base, there's a huge sense of goodwill and trust, it is also a community and social centre, there's the breadth of local knowledge that is provided by everybody working within the system and it has a capacity to handle additional businesses. On the other side there are weaknesses, it is very dependent on state contracts, uh, it has inconsistent offerings, uh, varied financial performance, restrictions on its marketing. Uh, and uh, the remuneration system is poss possibly outdated and inconsistent. Other senators have outlined potential income sources as, such as motor tax, court services, fines, other local authority charges, ticket sales, etc. I note that in my own area of Connemara, for example, recently the court services t closed down the administrative office of the local court. Uh, and the, the, one of the big issues there was how were people going to pay their fines uh, locally. And this certainly would be an opening for the uh, UNPOS service to, to do that type of thing. We also uh, have uh, touched on EU rules, etc., uh, and the fact that the competition rules might preclude or make it more difficult for impost to tender for certain contracts. But are there, Minister, maybe potential uh, benefits? Does the EU have some kind of communications or information uh, disseminating element that it could be done through the UNPOS network? Uh, and could that be explored? I know, for example, that info points have been established by the EU in different libraries around the state to give people information about the different services, etc., that are available. So could we uh, tap into the EU uh, to see if there are any potential contracts there that we could tender for, for the dissemination of information or services from the EU? I'm also concerned possibly that on post is urbanising services. We're talking very much about the offices today, but the staff and the posties themselves are an extremely important uh, resource. I note that in my own area, in the hinterland of Galway City, Unpost is pushing to urbanise the services by uh, providing the services from the people based in the city and taking the post person who is uh, based out in the uh, rural areas within 10 or 15 miles of the city uh, and, 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 and uh, um, taking them out of the system once they retire. And I, I think that would be a retrograde step. I think it's important that we do have postmasters uh, and post deli people delivering posts who are based in the services. Uh, there has been also a, a, a complaint about lack of communication with local communities on changes. 
I think what the government should be doing in a broader sense as well is rural proofing any policies that are brought in. Uh, we did bring a PMB to the Dáil last night which raised this issue but I think it is something that is genuine because if, if for example Minister you were rural proofing all of the policies you have to bring forward uh, it would hopefully uh, prevent the closure of rural post offices when you come to decisions around the contracts like the Department of Social Protection contract has, having to be delivered if that type of policy was rural approved. Uh, I would also call on you to publish the criteria on the viability of post offices. I think that's important. What, what, what makes a post office viable in the government's perception? Uh, and I agree with uh, the uh, problems that could put 400 post offices in jeopardy if Minister Bert Burton pushes forward towards electronic payments. Um, I, I, on, on the postcodes proposal, Minister, could you outline for us if the latest proposal is going to be uh, sent out to open tender? And uh, also, if the postcode uh, p is going to be a GPS-based one? Because most uh, of the private delivery companies that work now would work on a GPS system. It is the latest technology that has come in, and I think from questions I've raised with your, yourself previously, uh, that wasn't going to be the fact, so perhaps you could speak on that. But the